Happy to have you back. My name is Diane and welcome to DT NetView. Today I will be sharing with you a practical item. Uh, this item I keep in the house all the time, um, ready to go. It's my emergency survival bug out bag. I know that's a mouthful, but a lot of different things. They call it a 72 hour kit. Some people call it inch or I'm not coming home bag, bug out bag, survival bag. But whatever you call it, it's the bag that will have all the essentials you need in moment's notice if you ever need to leave your house or even if you have to hunker down in your house because of any disaster, man-made or natural. So without further ado, I will show you exactly what bag I've decided to choose for my survival bag. And here we have it. I've decided to actually go with the Osprey Transporter 40 liter um, duffel bag convertible into a backpack. So right off the bat, you can see that this um, bag is pretty solid. It's made out of 800 denier. If it rains, you don't have to worry about getting your stuff wet, but it also comes with its compartment, hidden compartment where you can hide or tuck away the um, strap for the backpack. Now there are times when you don't want a backpack, you actually want a duffel bag. So this will convert into a duffel bag also by just putting it back on that hidden um, pocket and adding the strap for the duffel bag. So these are all adjustable and it has this padding to make carrying the bag more convenient and more comfortable. Um, I'm going to show you how this bag opens up. It opens up right here in the middle. And what I love about this, and that's why I decided to go with this bag, is because it opens up like a duffel bag and easy access to your your items. This bag comes with straps inside, so if you ever have to strap your items, you can do that. It comes with handles on the side if you want to just carry it this way. And it also comes with this uh, straps where you can also add um, some of your carabiners. A zippered pocket outside, uh, roomy enough so you can add more stuff in there that you can easily access if you need to in moment's notice. I'm going to show you how I fit every single item in my emergency bag. So I've decided to pack all my um, survival gear and my essential items into smaller kits so that it's easier for me to organize them and easier for me to find. You want to make sure that the kit that you use is actually waterproof. So I use dry sack to carry all the items. All my clothing gear, um, I'm going to add that into the backpack. I've got the utility um, items, gloves, masks, hot hands, eye goggles, cords in this bag. I've got my cooking system to make sure that I'm able to prepare my food. I have everything I need in this bag. Now I have the, I believe this is my um, sleeping pad. I'm gonna add that over here on the side. I've got my sleeping bag, good for any really cold extreme weather condition it also comes with a pillow have my reactor i have the medical kit very important i'm gonna add my food rations and i have it in a ziploc bag just to be sure that it's waterproof i also have this night uh, ease bag i have my matches, I have a duct tape, I also have here some pens, notepads, and all the electronic devices, the charging um, cables, and also batteries. I also carry with me a set of um, contractor trash bags. I also have photocopies of uh, documents, legal documents, um, phone numbers, pictures of the family in case they get lost. Have all that information here. I've got a, a pair of uh, eyeglasses, some few rolls of toilet paper, super essential. I have this bag, this is my toiletry bag. All the toilet essentials are in here. I have the Bibi sack um, from Seoul Survival Outdoors. So I'm going to add that here. I have a little sewing kit. I have an extra 
<laughs> this is actually extra because I also have another set inside another bag. So that's my water container. And I have this playing cards just in case to keep me entertained. Everything else I'm gonna add here in this pocket. The small things that I wanna be able to reach. This is my N95 mask. Leatherman Wave multi-tool. My flashlight. I have my Bic lighter. I will also have snap lights. I'm gonna add that here. A few hair ties. All these Purell wipes. Just spread it out. This one I actually like to put it here just in case I need that. These are the food. And I'm gonna add a couple of water bottles. I know we need more water bottles, so I have purification tablets. Um, I have containers where I can, I don't know, say hi to the friends. This is Hiroshi, guys. Uh, I guess he wants to know if uh, he's going with me. Um, so I'm gonna close this main compartment. And I'm gonna add my poncho slash uh, tent. I'm gonna add that to the uh, secret pocket of this backpack. And I'm also gonna add my trowel. I'm just gonna hang it so it's easily accessible. I have a reflector or reflective, whatever you call it. I have this Sleepix collection. I think I, I got this from Amazon. So I'm gonna add that over here on the side just so in case I feel cold and I need to walk, this also turns into like almost like a um, jacket or a poncho. So that's, that's helpful. My headlamp, I like to add it on top of this bag. Something that I do want accessible for me. So this is the bag that I've decided to use. Again, this is the Osprey Transporter 40 liter bag um, duffel slash backpack um, and for those of you who are wondering what's inside each and every single kit inside uh, please feel free to comment below if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel so you will receive a notification every time I post a new video if you have any ideas for a new content feel free to post those comments in the comment section below as well um, again thank you so much for watching I appreciate your time Stay tuned for the next amazing video here at DT NetView. Bye guys!